Dude, at, at, at La Rambis, I remember uh, uh, their famous song. All of a sudden, the, the Hail Mary beat comes fucking on. Oh, man. Spread it. Oh, spread it thin. Spread it. Spread it thin. Oh, damn, girl. Stop spread it. Spread them wide. Get the legs all up all in my hide. That's right. I'm not going to hide. You get to beat me. I'll run and hide. Let's slide. Let's do a vibe. You, you and me, let's try some pride. Wait a minute! This could have been a piece of amber with the DNA of a dinosaur inside of a mosquito in there. No dinosaurs. Yo, we got heads on, heads on, head. Heads on, heads on, head. Heads on, heads on, heads. Is what I want you to give me, girl. And that was like about blowjobs. <laughs> oh, let's get this thing started! Oh, you beautiful people, it's happening! It's happening all over again, just as I'd always dreamed. It's Tuesday night, and that means it has got to be go time for the best of the worst of the internet since 1776. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Brian Rushford in Austin, Texas, joined by my BFF, Justin Robert Young, over in OAK. What is going on, JRY? Oh my God, Brian! Uh, I'm not gonna uh, lie. I'll, I'll tell you what the, the the historian said: it could never be done. What that that uh, that uh, antler rhombus would hit number one on Amazon because that's tonight's new bit. <laughs> no, <laughs> Submit a song that, and get it to number one. That somebody finally could decipher one of the greatest art movements of a generation. Uh, yes. Okay, real quick, though. That opening song. That's, uh, that's your friend of mine, Stephen Cogswell. Autfy.com, A-W-T-F-Y.com, slash antler. I was just trying to play the Stephen Cogswell songs. I wasn't going to sleep, if that's what you were thinking. That's fine, Autfy. I was just... No, I just wanted you to hear. I wanted... It's okay. Uh, I'm leaving. I'm going to sleep now. It's not even a thing. We weren't talking about you. We weren't talking about you or to you. Uh, we would prefer that you stop listening... Oh, I, I can't even, I didn't even hear what you were saying. So I think we're on the same page. I'm going to sleep <laughs> okay, now. Okay, good, Bye. good. All right. Uh, so anyway, what I was saying, one of his better, uh, oh, I was waiting for the, <laughs> I thought you were trolling me there. <laughs> that, the, uh, uh, no, that's a great one. Antler Rhombus, like, do you remember half of the crap we said in that song? No, so much so that I emailed Stephen Cogswell and I just told him, I don't know how I said any of it. I don't know. I don't remember Brian saying any of it. And he went through, like, time-coded where we said everything because oh, it's brilliant and amazing. Uh, yeah, no, that's uh, all, fantastic. All hail Cogswell. Uh, oh, okay, real quick, off the top. Number one, uh, uh, Bryce, can we, can we bring up uh, 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 our, our ticker? Because people are already doing it. Uh, we are now subbed... On Twitch, uh, Wait, so sub, sub, if you sub. or sorry, uh, partner. uh, partnered on Twitch, you can sub to us on Twitch. Yeah. Uh, uh, so if you like to do that, if that's where you get your jollies, or if you happen to have Amazon Prime, now here's the you, here's the here's the vig, right? This is uh, you yeah. knew there was a scam coming. Yes, there is a scam, but it's on those fat cat rich suckers at Amazon.com. We've got a plan to stick it to the man and take his money five dollars at a time. I'm Jeff Bezos. Oh, I Jeff Bezos. Yeah, your I'm, rocket, I'm, uh, your rocket ain't as big as Musk's. Well, I'm just rich here. I hope nobody takes five dollars at a time out of my pocket and gives it to those night attack boys. Wait a minute. Uh, flash cut to a bunker. Uh, there's a single light above us. Uh, the the bare table is sit there. Suddenly, slam! 
uh, uh, plans for Amazon's headquarters are there. And uh, you see Brian's finger detail routes and, and plans as he says, according to this old original charter of Amazon.com, if they ever acquire a live stream uh, company, uh, uh, the, the original inheritance goes to the cats, which means the only way is if they have a provision where they have to give $5 to anyone who's a subscriber of, of their live stream platform. Uh, Justin, who's up against the wall of the cave, uh, removes a lit cigar from his mouth. He's wearing a halter top and says, yeah, but will it work? <laughs> um, body comes in with five martinis and says, I got what you need, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Smash cut five years later, and here we are right now at this moment. Uh, you can uh, subscribe to us on Twitch. We also have bits. I don't even know what bits are, but we got bits on bits on bits. Like, it's happening right now I, no, on uh, Night Attack. But, but in, in all seriousness, what? how does – like, I could subscribe. I don't know how to do it. How do you spend your imaginary uh, Bezos money? So here's what you do. Uh, uh, you just uh, go ahead to our Twitch page. You see there's a big purple subscribe button in the top right-hand corner right above the uh, the video. Okay, hold on. Let me let me do said uh, thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to subscribe for free. Oh, I'm logged in as me. So I'm gonna... Subscribe to our own channel. Subscribe. Start three 30-day trial. Uh, uh, oh, you... connect your Twitch account. Yeah, you do I, have I'm to gonna... connect your Twitch to your Amazon Prime. Should I... Should I... Which should I connect it to mine or the or the night attack? I probably shouldn't do this. You, I don't think you're doing it, anything. Yeah, right I don't now. think you need to do it right now. Hold on, let's very precisely, tediously show. spell out these details. This is gonna be a Sweetie, very. What's my routing number? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about this, Brian? You do that, and uh, while you're doing that, something that we were talking about in the pre-show, which of course you can get uh, by uh, subscribing uh, to this channel on Twitch. You can also do it on Patreon.com/slash Night Attack. Uh, uh, Bonnie, you were uh, describing something that you vaguely remember uh, oh uh, about a bus. Uh, go ahead and, and tell everybody, explain what you were thinking. Well, we're uh, you were just basically describing that you were going to take a ride in a bus. And uh -huh. and it reminded me of another bus. Uh, okay, a bus. Okay. Uh, you a described bus. it as a van. Yeah. I <laughs> described it as a van because I thought it was okay. a van. Yeah. So a thing that, that people say is a bus, but it, it's really a, a van. But you had a more complete picture in your mind. Right. Where there's... People in 70s clothing, <laughs> <laughs> like opening, like there's somebody walking okay, hold down. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, time out, time out, time out. For those guys who missed a pre-show, uh, Bonnie, we eventually figure out that Bonnie doesn't want to say it, but she's alluding to something she's heard of, the bang bus, uh, ah. a legend of pornography, and and we were very curious <laughs> what, what it would be like for somebody to describe how a bang bus episode goes <laughs> who's never seen a bang bus episode. Wait, so there's more than one episode? Like is this like uh, a series? certainly Bonnie? Uh, there's a lot of a lot of episodes <laughs> of the Bang Bus. Uh, <laughs> so so here we go. They're, they're all very similar. They all follow a very uh, a rigid pattern, pun uh, intended. Uh, how would you imagine a a Bang Bus episode goes? Uh, first of all, orchestral music starts playing <laughs> as oh it God. says Bonnie Bush Brushwood presents. <laughs> An Invisible Wife production, oh, courtesy no. of Bonnie's Paradise. <laughs> ah, fade in on. We we see a young Justin Robert Young. <laughs> Whoa! In a I am every episode. <laughs> Okay, so I, I, I'm, 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 I'm the welcome to Fantasy Island guy of the band bus. <laughs> so, so what's his catchphrase? He, he opens up the bank bus, hops out, and, and how do we see him as we see him every episode? No, no, no. You see, he's wandering. He's wandering through a crowd at a uh, festival. Oh, yeah. So it's like the opening yes. shot to like Narcos or something. Right. Just bodies going to and Does, fro and you see there's, him. There's lots of reverie. And then <laughs> you see see somebody like pop out of a van and there's a cloud that, you know, it's almost like glamorous how he, how a person is like enshrouded in 
a cloud of smoke, and and yet they emerge and they say, "Hey, do you want to smell my van?" <laughs> <laughs> <That's> so, <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> all right, and, and so then, and then, and then what happens? And then you know, our curious young, innocent wanderer says, "Okay." What does it smell like? <laughs> and leans in and sniffs. Go on. <laughs> and says, it smells like weed. I'm from California, yo. Everything smells like weed out there. Okay, all right. But uh, all right. Uh, it is called the bang bus. <laughs> and you okay. have written a scenario where Justin is now intoxicated and in the care of strangers about to get in their van. Right. And then uh, the person again, that by the said. Way, we're setting a general <laughs> template, which we can run thousands of times. This so is this every is episode. A, a every very episode. specific. You're, you're relying a lot on the longevity of my performance. <laughs> Just every episode, the girls go nuts when they see, like, oh, it's Justin. The opening shot's like a Weir's Waldo moment. Okay, we're just going to say that Justin is the stand in for a young woman. Like, okay. 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 All right, so Justin's so, like, in a tube top. He's playing the part of a young woman in yeah. a tube top. Okay, and so. Being so, lured to a smelly bus. Okay, and how do, you, how do you think the lure to the smelly bus usually goes? It goes. Hey, you want to smell my van? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she's got you there. That's pretty. That's pretty close to the actual script. <laughs> Fair point. Fair my van smells like money. You want to smell it? <laughs> and then they're just like, uh, and then Justin, oh, it smells like fun. <laughs> And then, uh, all right. And then, all right. Let's go ahead. Let, let, let's get. We're in the van now. What is happening in the van? I, I, oh, did you not realize? Into the van. Bon, Bonnie's using her words to walk away as fast as possible from the inevitable conclusion of the bang bus. So they're like, oh, well, let's do a little more backstory. We're in hour five of the longest night attack yeah. ever. And then Justin Made gets a degree. In. Justin's <laughs> grandmother, as she comes uh, into the country from Ireland. Finally, shortly before dying, <laughs> Justin realized there's one thing he hadn't tried, and since he had successfully raised so many children, he put on a tube top <laughs> and walked to the streets, uh, fully you empowered. You first got music. <laughs> I don't know. I, I figured the end shot is little high heels sticking up in the windows, and then you see, you hear the... Th Throws of reverie. <laughs> the throws of reverie. <laughs> it ends with an implied <laughs> orgasm and not. <laughs> In the throes of reverie, it's not it's Titanic, Titanic body. It's like it's like erotic fiction for for eight year olds. <laughs> Two people so in love, so in love, they hugged like never before. They hugged and they went to kiss, but then they looked over their shoulders before they kissed, and then they kissed, totally kissing. <laughs> It's almost as if Spielberg in the 80s directed hardcore pornography. It's always just off screen. Like, sure, it's happening, and it's happening violently, but it's just outside of, of, of the frame of the camera. By the way, if you're worried that this was some kind of Turing test, you passed, Bonnie. You definitely have never seen a porno, <laughs> according to the chat room. <laughs> in the throes of reverie. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh, they fuck. That's how it ends. Every episode, yeah, they, they fuck. You know, I think Oftentimes, they given. drive off not giving her the money, but dangling it there. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, Bo yeah Bonnie's premise yeah. didn't have any money. Not I since... didn't know there was a yeah. money thing. Oh, no, they don't no, make yeah, it. No, no, the idea of the bang bus is that uh, uh, they're driving around in their van, and they're usually like, hey, what's up, guys? And then they see, like, oh, my God, that girl's, What? Now, that girl's really hot. Keep in Let's mind. Let's see if we get her in this van and bang her. You know what? How come nobody's done, like, a, <clears throat> like added just a plot element where it's, like, maybe 30 seconds on the beginning and end of each episode where it's just, like, clearly recapping their last mystery-solving adventure? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then after they have sex, you hear, like, a growl from off screen and see an explosion, and they're like, let's go, boys! As the I smoke just, monster is chasing meanwhile, them. And meanwhile, the guy, the guy who is just <laughs> anally reaming this random stranger just gets, like, the shaggy legs, like, the circular, <laughs> like... <laughs> I just... I just think it ought to end with her going, gosh, I just 
you know, haven't been effed like that since I got gonorrhea. <laughs> and, you know. That I'm, you know they can all look to the camera you know. and go, wah, what do we expect? <laughs> it's a living. <laughs> Bang bus, bang bus, ooh, that was goo. Shot on your walls now. <laughs> now I want to write the bang bus Scooby Doo theme. <clears throat> uh, all right, uh, Brian, were you able to do uh, subscribe to the channel? Uh, I I got I was afraid to, so I haven't. Uh, uh, because I have to tie it to. You know what? I'm gonna start a 30 day trial. How you like How you like me now? Oh, but dude, I like you. I, I, I like you just fine. It's uh, it's gonna be great. So, uh, Bryce. Yeah. Uh, uh we're we're gonna still do the uh, pre-show and post-show through the Twitch vods. If you if you just live on uh, Twitch, we're still gonna give you the same benefits that we do on Patreon, right? Y yeah, we we have to figure out how those different workflows out because I, I I thought the upload system worked a certain way. Um, but we're, we're gonna we, we're able to send people messages and, and give people access to stuff on Twitch. So keep an eye out on, on that stuff in the coming uh, in the coming weeks as we figure that out. We do have that's that's the goal. That's what we're, that, that that's what we are we are efforting towards the solution where no matter right. where you want to give us money, uh, you can give us money, be it Patreon or Twitch. Patreon, we do get a little bit more of the cut on the dollar because Patreon's cut is very very small compared to Twitch, but. Switch, you get the emotes, and you can do it for free. So whatever you want to do, uh, if you have to, uh, Amazon Prime, it's literally free money to us. Hey, man. And by the way, these are the emotes that we have got in the pipeline. We thought they'd be done by now, but there's they're still, I guess there's a backlog. How, is there a limit on emotes? It's based on how many subscribers. So I think right now we have four or five emotes. Dude, we only had we, two okay. on Sunday. So if we've got, if we have, I like the die on a fire one. That's a good one. Um, the, uh, I mean, there should be, even if it's a cartoon square-faced version of it, a Brian and a Justin square-faced simple emote. You know? Absolutely. <clears throat> or or one of these cutout. Like people like, like they love it when like it's like, like a crazy face and then they can just put a crazy face right there oh, in, in, in the sudden, chat. I instantly regret every crazy face I've ever made in the history of the internet. <laughs> like which ones? I mean, which ones do you regret the most? Just show everybody which ones you, you really, really, really regret. Well, there's this one from the end of my guest appearance on the Bang Buzz. <laughs> I play, it turns out I was the one haunting the, the, the carnival ride, but, but, but these Erotic kids busted. The erotic me. Kids. I love how Bonnie's version of the bag bus opens up in some like Moroccan market <laughs> while like the <laughs> happens in the, in the background. Like what walking around and there's all sorts of like you know a juggler and like ah, dates dates. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's when uh, yeah, that's what I made uh, for you, Justin. I did it for you. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of good Brian faces oh, on God the internet. It. That's not great. That's high, high. Should we uh should should we have a little straw poll to see what people want as our as our as our other remotes? Should uh, we like narrow down maybe some uh, oh, some finalists? Uh, I mean I don't know. Uh, uh yeah, let's let's uh, have the discussion. Tell us how it goes uh, because you guys are 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 yeah. The, I'm gonna the peel back the bosses. curtain. The first two that we made were with as with very minimal instruction from Brian and Justin. I don't think that they're going to spend much time in this process. Uh, yes, no, we we are excited. It's they're your emotes. Uh, one of the ideas we had was uh, something that doesn't exist on Twitch is a complete rejection of whatever idea comes next. Like one or two emotes used in tandem, uh, uh, the equivalent of. Calvin peeing on things, right? So it's like, like uh, there's one story I heard where where somebody uh, made an NFL bet or whatever, and his team lost, and the loser had to get the tattoo of the team they hated on there, and so he got the Cowboys tattoo, but then also got the picture Cal of peeing yeah, on of, it. Of yeah. him peeing on it, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I I don't know what that would look like. It it wouldn't have to be a negative reversal of it, but just some I don't know something like here's the thing, like I love I don't know who made the glorious one on there. Uh, that is Dills. That, Dills. But that's brilliant, and I see that everywhere. And 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 great it came from him. But I would rather have it be beloved and well used than necessarily a, a, a specific inside jokes. Night Rider or we riot. <laughs> Uh, we totally can. So here, uh, uh, let's let's maybe get a, a a Google Doc or something where we can just gather everybody's uh, suggestions, and then then we'll run through them real quick and cull them down to maybe you know six or seven, and we'll we'll, we'll throw a uh, straw poll up for the week. How's that? Yeah, that works. Uh, 
Hey, man, by the way, thank you to everybody. Thank you to the uh, uh, thousands of people supporting us over at Patreon.com. That's Patreon.com slash Night Attacks. Uh, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Night Attack. Um, Absolutely. You guys are the best. I got a, I got an email that one of our horse boys, the longest running horse boy, and, and I, 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 I didn't get permission. I should have asked beforehand. We're going to. We're gonna do something special for him, but uh, our longest running sports bo- uh, sports boy, horse boy. Uh, I like to think of him as a sports boy too, because he always <laughs> gave it his best shot. He did give it his best shot, but he is abdicating his seat. So there is one opening for a horse boy, four horse boys of the apocalypse. Longest running uh, to you, we give three claps of honor and a fourth clap of shame, what? and then we give you the actual clap. No, no, <laughs> no, I, I was too busy invested in doing your motions like I, I wanted to make it seem like we had. A I, I, yeah, no, we, we, we've got. Hey, look, this is uncharted waters. We've never we've never had a longest running horse boy leap. I know. Uh, no, no, no. That, thank that you is, for uh, your service. That, that is awesome. <clears throat> so. Bryce. Hi. How you doing? I'm working on three different things right now. Are we doing a name ch- name chant or? No, uh, we, uh, you know what? That's a great idea. We should. Let's do a name chant. Okay. Well, uh, I'd like to if say. If you uh, <laughs> adjust your Patreon pledge upward, then you can indeed be part of the one and only. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the night attack. New Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of <laughs> All right. All right. Man, a lot of lot of motion. A lot of lot of jumping all around here over the last week. But you know what? I see the perfect one. Uh, oh, geez. What do what do you think? What do you think this fella is doing right now, Justin? Oh, man. I think this guy is literally in the middle of surgery. And he is, uh, he is, he is uh, about to connect some tendons. Oh, to he's a bone performing or surgery, not having it performed on him. Oh, no, 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 no. In fact, he, uh, 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 he, he's kind of a dick initially, <laughs> like to his, uh, to his, to his uh, uh, assistants, right? But it's only because he cares so much. Like he's a very Sorconian great man. So like he can, he, he can heal people with his hands, and yet he's a little salty. And so he always puts us in. And uh, if, if maybe his his battery's below 100. He's just like, Denise, really? Well, and ironically, if I'm not mistaken, the person he's doing surgery on also happens to be a fan. And yes. he was just very worried about the surgery that's happening, hopefully, right at this exact moment. They're both hearing it. Uh, unbelievably, they press play at the same time. And so they're at the same place right now. So if, Edgar, you're having your knee operated on mm. by Mike... Then maybe look down, give him a significant glance and a thumbs up, and maybe he won't sever your tendon like he might have otherwise accidentally done. Because yeah. I just want to say hi, Mike, Mike Bradbury. Bradbury. Mike Bradbury. Uh, dude, Mike, don't cut that tendon. Don't cut the tendon. Mike, Mike, Mike Bradbury. Mike Bradbury. <laughs> Mike, 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 Brad Barry. You know what? While we're at it, Edgar, Edgar, it's going to be all right, man. man. Mike is a pro pro surgeon. surgeon. Your knee's going to be better better than ever. ever. New is new. Calm down, down, Edgar. Edgar, 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 calm down. Hey, (laughs) Edgar, (laughs) calm down. Now, Mike, (laughs) don't let us think, make you think that us comforting Edgar in any way means we don't believe in you. We know you've got the goods. Now, cut that leg off. Hey, Mike, Brad Barry, you are the best. Worry. Just, get Just get lots, lots of rest. Of rest. <laughs> <laughs> Edgar, Edgar, get lots, lots of rest. Of rest. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Edgar. Uh, and as soon as uh, Edgar awakens from his surgery, Mike is there at his bedside. Uh, he looks him dead in the eye and says, well, at least this didn't turn out into a shadow, Brian. And then they high five in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> <They're> both- <laughs> uh Hey, Bryce, how you doing? Good. We've got some suggestions here. <laughs> oh, for Twitch votes? For Twitch votes, yeah. Uh, is, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. That, no that's good. That's good. So we got uh, Murderito, which I don't think we ever actually got a photo of from that episode. Bonnie's Paradise. No, Murderito's more of a concept, also a fake book. <laughs> <laughs> well, the book does exist. It's just not public. It does it's exist, indie. yes. We it is it an ever-growing Google Doc. Uh, Stossel, which might be a trademark thing. Uh, <laughs> also, Michael, Michael not Lewis. a relevant name. <laughs> like, we're just everyone will just be shouting, I love li- libertarian politics and his run on 2020. <laughs> Although I'll tell you what, uh, 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 a a a group that got to the front page of Reddit is obsessed with Stossel, so maybe there's uh, <laughs> there's there's a a crossover potential here. Might be might be something. Um, Ad Dragon. We got uh, Sharkle, which is a very specific thing that we don't own. Uh, Pol Pot. Uh, well, what? How could this have been? Yeah. Done? Hey, Brian. Do you, do you think that we should uh, put our names on <laughs> just a Pol Pot emote so oh, people yeah. can steal what? Pol Pot and random chats? You know. Oh man, wouldn't that be a terrible prank? Is to tell everyone like, oh, this is the Vietnamese soccer winner in 1978, and and then it's like you know. All the emotes say, awesome guy, point to him. And it's like, psych, it's Pol Pot. He's a genocidal maniac. You're all that, terrible. That would be a bad prank. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I seriously do not think we should do it for an emote. I think we should do it for two. Pol Pot. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what would be funny is we submit them saying pot poll. Like, what is pot poll? And we're like, oh, it's a thing we do. We do a poll, but it's like, hey, man, give us your weed first. It's a pot poll. We're going to see whichever pile is the most weed wins the pot poll. And we're like, okie doke, here we go. And what? then everyone just pull pot. Ah! You got me again. Pull pot goes over the ridge in the general lee. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Someone suggested Brian taking his ass emote. It's pretty good. Though I do want this. Oh, jeez. Yeah, what, what about what about Justin's prodigious gut emote? How about that one? <laughs> this was... is that guy? Oh, man. Yeah. Both of them, yeah. Um, Ira Sockman. Max Trollbot was one of the first ones I was going to do, and then uh, DIF came a little ahead of it. But Max Trollbot's definitely something we could do. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Who owns what? the IP on Max Trollbot? Uh, uh, I don't know. We might be able to 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 actually figure that out. Uh, 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 yeah, we might we might be able to uh, uh, figure that out. I have to uh, go off screen and make oh, some calls. Yeah. Sure, okay. sure, yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Well, because well, the problem is, I don't know. I don't. I, 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 I don't, like Creative Commons is one thing, but that's not the, necessarily IP. Exactly. Well, and also, like, we literally never signed contracts. <laughs> they hey, never, they never <laughs> sent us a contract. <laughs> yes. Oh wow. Well, hey. Oh hey. Here we uh, go. Oh, hey, hold on. Joining us on the line oh my god it, it, max trollbot max trollbot wow. it is i max trollbot <laughs> oh my I go where i want come at me cunts <laughs> oh my oh, god oh my that's, goodness that's, Strikes fired across the bow wow that's terrible oh i don't know i think this has new life <laughs> <laughs> i really love it it was such a failure on uh, the show <laughs> somehow oh my god <laughs> funny <laughs> Jesus, Bonnie, hashtag too soon. I mean, uh, we, we have one person, we have a fan who's, did, who's picked their entire name based on this character. <laughs> I loved it. You loved uh, it. Hey, hey, he loved it. Max, but... Max Trollbot, um, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people are comparing you to Tucker Carlson. Are, are, are you by nature conservative? Indeed, Brian. I am one who likes to make sure I am not associated with SJW cocks like you. Oh, I, uh, wow. So, so where is it you spend most of your time? Mostly watching episodes of The Modern Rogue <laughs> oh, with oh. Alex Albrecht and C. Robert Cargill. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, you're close. You got the you got the modern rogue, but I, I, I'm thrilled to know that you're a fan. I am. I'm the one saying Brian is getting fatter and gayer with every episode. <laughs> it's a long con. <laughs> so you're you're one of our quintessential trolls. Indeed, <laughs> let me fuck <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye, all right. So long, okay. Max Trollbot. Good, bye, to, Max. good to see you. <laughs> bye. <laughs> wow. I'm surprised. I'm glad he came, he took time out of his day. 
to uh, to to join us. We can see some other stuff. Uh, but <laughs> Cuba, maybe the shape of Cuba. I don't know. We 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 haven't played but Cuba in a while. <laughs> I love Aww. the fact that it says spam is a rapist, and then somebody else typed no. no. <laughs> <laughs> or is that after Max Strobot? Said, uh, he's, or is, he said somebody in the chat said uh, my dad just said that about me. <laughs> oh, he, your dad called you an SJW cock <laughs> <laughs> or C. Robert Cargill. Either way, uh, I, I like that. Uh, I, I really like my dude. I, I like Bryce getting an emote, a a a, a my dude emote. <laughs> my dude. <laughs> oh man. Um, WPR. Wow, WPR. that's probably not. Mike TV. Well, Mike TV's got his own. Uh, Chet Page. Can we ask T2 to get his face and make a Chet Page emote? I am am totally down for a T2 T2. Just a T2 T2 face emote. I am am down for that. If if, if we could have the impression of the the skyline behind him and just his beautiful beatific smugness just radiating off, it was so great. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, uh, Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to keep an eye on this, uh, but Fries. Hi. Hi. You know, you've been working really hard. Yeah, man. How you been? Uh, I'm okay. I kind of stressed actually. Oh, uh, y- yeah. Let's. Uh, 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 we uh, we had noticed, <laughs> and we definitely didn't plan for this whole segment to be Bryce Appreciation Corner Hour. <laughs> Surprise! Bryce! 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 Bryce, 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 Bryce. Well, thank you. Yeah. No, I was. Yeah. I was trying to explain to Justin. I was just like, uh, "Yeah, man, um, something has never happened before." He was like, "What? What?" And I was like, "Well, normally, uh, normally, you know, uh, it's always uh, Bryce and and Brant pointing out that we're out of scam school episodes and we have to do more." Uh, In this case, I finally, you know, uh, scheduled one. But like, Bryce asked me to push it. He's like, "What does it mean?" I was like. I think he's losing his goddamn mind cutting together this TV thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh, uh, like, like, I don't know. I, I have just picked up enough noise that I'm just like, something, I ain't the brightest bull, but. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, last week we shot that uh, card throwing video. And that night I was definitely, I spent maybe 30 or 40 minutes just pacing from stress of like, oh, I have to get this done. And also these other million things. And so. This week is especially tough because we're on a soft deadline for this TV project. Yeah. Um, and there's still stuff that's not done and stuff I haven't gotten yet. You don't, and, you don't say, hey, is there is there anyone who we've contacted who maybe should sign their fucking release and get it back to us immediately that you want to maybe just, you know, vaguely uh, reference who might listen? Uh, maybe a lockpick guy who does lockpick oh, stuff. Oh, damn. He, if. if Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh. oh, all oh. right. And maybe a bar true, that we go true to fact. a lot. Maybe a Bryce bar. quit the next day. <laughs> uh, uh, dude, I, I got to tell you, man, it's like, uh, and, and we, did, we didn't write any bit, but I'm like, dude, we could spend 20 minutes easily talking about the strange, wonderful journey that brought us to this moment. Because right now you are working, you know, sincerely, and this is, this is you know, why I – tried to invent a job for you when I found out you moved to Austin <laughs> is because like uh, 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 y- you have one of those things that that is so rare and so precious and so important in that you you actually you know you care you you you're born of Diamond Club and 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 and, and earned your position by performing first and then uh, now, wait a minute, though but what was the one thing that really cemented Diamond Club's love for Bryce. Like, was was there like one defining video, like one video <laughs> that that just continues to live right. on, like a song maybe, <laughs> like a, a, a a song, maybe something that, so uh, powerful that it's busted out of our bubble and now infects the the the. the oh my God, that was fast. <laughs> this is in the recent history. Uh, so, sure. Uh, by the way, we gotta give we gotta give props to whoever made this video too. So good. Yeah. Um, so I mean, let's just let it go. There's a lot of new people here. Let's just let it go for the for newbies. A second here. The day it comes out. Woo! White people rich. White people rich. Throw your hands up if you have an accountant. White people rich. White people rich. If you have life insurance and you're hooked on the premium. White people rich. White people rich. 
White people rich, white people rich, what? white people rich, Briar Brunswood, Brunswood, white people rich, white people rich, what? white people rich, Briar Brunswood, Brunswood, white people rich, Briar's <laughs> living in Texas, buying girls' lessons, he don't care what sex it is, making babies, <laughs> Brian going crazy, throwing money in the air, cause his hair don't care, throwing flames from my mouth, cause I live down south, got money in my house. Money in my car, my baby got a lot of braces, money all over the place, money falling out of my underwater, cause white people rich, white people rich, white people rich, Briar How Brunswood, much was Brunswood. that cartoon? You guys, if you're just listening on, on audio, you gotta watch the video if you haven't seen it. It's uh, White People Rich, Nesh Complex featuring Jerry and O'Docta. You can search for it on YouTube. But included in there is a video we did of uh, how how expensive was that flip cartoon? That was a $10,000 flip cartoon. <laughs> $10,000 flip cartoon because Brian came back from a, a but where, where, where were you? Uh, well, it was it was less than ten thousand dollars because had it been more than ten thousand dollars, I would have to report it. Uh, of course. But uh, that was that was uh, yeah that was coming back from Indonesia because they they, they don't do you, you can't get what yeah so God, I forgot about that part. Um, uh, uh, when you do international variety performers, it turns out that they only want cash or uh, just cash. And so uh, uh, they reimbursed me for all the travel, which was all last minute, was stupid expensive. Uh, and then also what they gave me to be on the show. And then uh, it ended up being a tidy stack of $100 bills. Uh, and uh, and I came back and I hung out with you and I was like, hey, let's desecrate this money by making a flip book cartoon on it. <laughs> and then Justin said, that's not, uh, that's not offensive enough to people who are living on less than a dollar a day. <laughs> Let me slap it down onto the ground. Take that, extreme poverty. <laughs> I mean, they really had to take it, though. Like, they really got it. Oh, that was, it was pretty. It was, it might be, that might be the single most offensive act I've ever thought of or, or seen through. Slapping down $10,000. Oh, no, 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 no. Just, just, just treating it just like a toy just, like that. But, you know. Uh, a flip cartoon. And by the way, it was drawn by three artists. It was me, Brett Roundsville, and Brian Brushwood, each drawing one bill uh, uh, as we watched what uh, the, the what one came did. before. Yeah. And so and that was the rules. You could only see where we had gotten up to, and then you had to be the next one to just take it to the next frame. Uh, so we're terrible people. Uh, Bryce <laughs> is not. Bryce is a great person. Bryce made the White People Rich song uh, for which the video was made on top of. Uh, and now... How many? How lived many? In Austin, living uh, in Austin, got no daughters. Got no daughters. White people, uh, middle class. Doing all right. Doing all right. Making it happen. <laughs> Paying the bill. White people making it work. White people making it work. <laughs> Gonna get the ramen just one more Thursday. White people making it work. White people making it work. <laughs> But here's what we wanted to do is Don't tell the boss that it's a pirated copy. No, I'm sorry. That was actually one of the first things I had to do when I started because- Was go legit? Was go legit because Brant was using newer software than I was. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, you were saying? We want to honor the life of Bryce. So anybody who wants to put together (laughs) Photoshop's uh, where, Tell us uh, the story. Bryce What's is... your favorite memory Are of Bryce? Saying? Are you guys exact... saying that this is going to be the end of him? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, am I dead? Did no, I die? no. This is the end of the second act when you've lost all your steam and you're just like, there's no way we can make this television project happen on time. Uh, and and then from the chariot, resplendent and tan, I say, you'll do it and I'll, and I'll laugh at your efforts. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it's fine. And then, <laughs> and then, and then, and then I leaning up against the cave wall, wearing a halter top, pull a lit cigar from my lips and say, "Yeah, but will it work?" <laughs> and then body comes in with martini, and says, "I've got what you need, boys." <laughs> I wish Fade I in Moroccan too. street fair. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sugar dates. Sugar dates. <laughs> Sugar dates. <laughs> no. oh <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that was a that was a hell of a leap you made by just uh, deciding that you know if not with with our horseshit operation you would you would make it work somewhere. Yeah. Um, uh, which so which it, was a, a direct result of coming to South by that year. Yeah. 
uh, because I, had, I which which had its own surreal twist because we were just right. hanging out and out of nowhere. Penelope starts singing white, white people, people rich, rich. not knowing who I was. Just right. just just singing it. And then uh, and then and, and then like I looked at Bryce and Bryce looked at me and he's like, Is this what Austin feels like? <laughs> <laughs> and he moved, true and story. We, he then, moved there the next day. Yeah. <laughs> and then we saw Alex Jones the next day. <laughs> yeah, playing Fruit Ninja with his kids. Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm I, glad he got his time in when he could. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Oh, Stop. Wow. wow. Like Jesus. Like wow. Uh, yeah, no, I uh, coming to South by was such an amazing time and I knew that uh I was at a I mean I had a pretty good job. It was a local government job and I had You had a secure gig, man. Yeah. All you had, had to do was insurance and tax stuff. And... They said they said all it, it's I'm picturing like this perfect, you know, uh, Apple like campus. And they're like, mm. all you have to do is churn out soul crushing garbage for the your entire life. If you stay here long enough You'll you'll be promised tacos forever. I mean, look, there's some people doing some nice service service video Soul work. Soul crushing oh, of course, garbage. Yeah. And, then, and then there's Greg, classic Greg, yeah. with a taco in his mouth, saying, "The really good tacos." <laughs> he's like, "I want to kill like, myself." Five more videos, and I'm out of here. Hope they don't give me a dangerous assignment. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> dangerous assignment in video work. Yes, through the ceiling board comes your boss, Greg. You're being called to. Afghanistan. <laughs> oh, damn. Any chance you want to take my job, Bryce? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm out of here. Uh, <laughs> Brian, Alex Mack style, uh, uh, dissolves into a liquid and makes his way to Austin. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, so what was that like, though? So I was at, at a point where, because our, our the video team, it was a city government, so it was a pretty, pretty small organization already, or, uh, I guess comparatively. And uh, there were only uh, three, three or four guys actually doing video stuff, and it was it was sort of a mixture of like, I probably won't ever get much higher in this, and I don't even live in the city, so I don't really care about half the stuff, most of the stuff that we do, um, and uh, even even if there was like upward movement, it's not necessarily anything that I want to do because it was very journalism heavy, uh, and a, and a lot of like. You know, press release or, or you, you know, statements and lectures. One of the things that I did every month was go to a library and listen to an NPR sponsored lecture for actual for old people about just whatever. Uh, so <laughs> hold on, real quick. I just, I just want to believe this is a dude who's doing like a community service gig, and he doesn't give a shit. He's like, uh, today, um, the Nintendo DS lights. Uh, let me explain. Uh, uh, put the games in it. It. Uh, you probably. You, no, you're too old. Uh, yeah. This is a dog. You Got say the dog is Smash Brothers. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could play with Jigglypuff. <laughs> Uh, what was the weirdest what was the, one of those that you did? What did they they the cover? Weirdest one, the weirdest one was, was titled "The Cervix: <laughs> Nature's Mystery." <laughs> <laughs> I found the edge of heaven, and it's called the cervix. Hello, I'm Robert Stack. <laughs> Tonight we take a mystery journey into a world never explored. <laughs> they said it couldn't get any better until they ran into <laughs> the cervix. <laughs> All right. What are your prices? Sorry. So, uh, the, the, actually, actually, the weirdest one was for like it was an insurance company or no no it was like a mold removal company and it was like here are tips to keep mold out of your home and you can hire our company to, to get rid of that mold. Oh, and number it, one, harsh language. Oh, you mold. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one of these days. Get out of here, yeah. yeah Firm reminders. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it was like weird, uh, like promotional stuff as a part of it. Uh, the, the, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. They were NPR sponsored lectures for old people that were promotional? No, it was AARP. <laughs> Gatorades oh, roll in the Civil War. <laughs> AARP. It's AARP. Sorry. See, because because NPR would be it's so weird. NPR, like, NPR would be hello. Weird. This is NPR. Welcome to a lecture on whatever. We understand <laughs> that you're old. I saw a squirrel outside. <laughs> and some random notes get played on a piano. <laughs> We're on the streets of Chicago. <laughs> We're looking for a Nintendo DS Lite. 
Excuse me, sir, do you have any DS lights here? Uh, no, but I do have more in my van. <laughs> Please get into my van, <laughs> no, and you can have many no. DS lights. I entered into a Moroccan street fair. <laughs> uh, the sickly sweet smell of smoke uh, passes over us all. As we hear the faint sounds of sugar dates. Sugar dates. <laughs> There's that one detail that Bonnie's obsessed with. Why's this backstory is brought to you by a grant from the Big Dick T and uh, Eleanor V uh, uh, Schlip Shits Foundation. <laughs> and also, uh, 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 that, oh, fuck. God damn it. Why am I blanking on that one porn star's name? The, the only one. Oh, my God. <laughs> the, 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 the dude with the mustache. Ron Jeremy? Yeah, Ron yeah. Jeremy's dick peels. That's the, the, other, one por- that's the, yeah. the one porn star? <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, if you're going to pick one. Uh, like one male, that's the one male, right? Well, not me. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, not for everyone, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Some of and us have by standards. <laughs> and get, by, uh, and by Casper flat. with their amazing mattresses. Uh, <laughs> so uh, so it was it was just a lot of like, I don't know. There's probably not much for me here, and I can either like do this, or I can like this. This is the perfect time for me to go because I have some money saved up, and I'm not I don't I'm not on a lease or anything. And uh, so I knew by the end of the year I wanted to move out of the area. And coming back from Aust- Austin from South by Southwest, I was like, yeah, it, I'm probably gonna go to Austin. Yeah. Um, so uh, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, were, were there any other? possible destinations like on on the Bryce shortlist like obviously Austin was the prohibitive favorite but did you ever allow yourself to dream that you would like be in Portland or Phoenix or <laughs> instead of this dump <laughs> you came to a rundown has been of a town kid <laughs> but he comes out with martinis I got what you need boys <laughs> I'm like, why are you here? All the jokes lead to this clusterfuck, no matter what, for the rest of the episode. We're going to make our way back here. It's a little surreal at this point. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so the other places, I, I was... I, I, I normally wouldn't move to a job without finding a city for... Or without finding... I wouldn't move to a city without finding a job first, but yeah. I, I was considering like, oh, maybe New York or somewhere in California is all on the table. Um, so what, what did you think the odds were that, that you would end up working with uh, here? Uh, well, wait, hold on, wait, 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 okay. pause that. We're, we're, we're going to get to Austin. I want to ask one question. Sure. Because that would be my guess. From Virginia, I would imagine that there are two destinations of I got to get the fuck out of here. The easiest is D.C., right? Because you're not even really, like, outside of, of like, Virginia. You're, you're far from where you were, but you're still fairly close in a big city. And the second would be New York because, mm-hmm. you know, uh, New York's not all that far. And it is this big place for, you know, business and art and shit like that. Actually, actually, um, probably after New York for me would have been Richmond. Uh, Richmond is where I went to school. And um, it that's where I knew a lot of people, and there were a lot of creative jobs there. Richmond has a, a little bit of a film scene, so uh, dude, that probably Richmond's would've... actually rad. I went to a bar yes. super late one night, and they had one of those. Uh, I, I don't know what you call it, but in uh, like you have like all the candles in front of a picture, like they do at churches or whatever, oh. like for like the. You know that, but yeah, uh, it yeah. was this bar. I, but I, just... by the way, I spent I spent a good four seconds trying to picture a fried chicken establishment with all those little <laughs> candles out in front. And then, <laughs> and then it hit me. I uh, like that. I'm dumb. <laughs> Uh, so you it, know when you pray, you're player. like, please let the fry later not give out this Tuesday again. <laughs> I've lit a bunch of candles. Gotta get their nugs. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, uh, all right, so so the, you you decide on Austin. Hmm. You uh, now are are moving to Austin. You're getting actually, to Austin. Actually, funny story on the way back from South by Southwest. Uh, at the time, I 
Was, Somebody saw you in the airport and you're like, get the fuck out of here. No one wants you here. Don't think about moving if that's what you was thinking. I, Dude, that's dangerously close to how Austin actually is. Yeah, 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 like there are yeah, literal, the literal signs that say, welcome to Austin. We're glad you had a good time. Please don't, don't move, move here. here. Yeah, yeah. I, I see the bumper stickers a lot. Yeah. Uh, I, I was at the time when I was coming back from South by that year. Uh, I was talking to a gentleman on OkCupid, okay and we had just been talking, and then South by came up, so uh, we we actually hadn't even met yet. Uh, and I texted him back on the airport, in the airport on the way home. I was like, "Hey, I'm I'm done in Virginia." <laughs> oh man, you so had you had that Bridget Jones moment. Too. You're like, uh, uh, you you were walking, and then your frappe latte spilled at the wrong moment, and then you looked, and you just realized this wasn't happening. I'm sorry. You had that transformative, empowering moment. And you moved to Austin. Basically, uh, and I've also oh, never oh, seen oh, Bridget oh, Jones oh, anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Just draw a circle around Brian confidently shoving Bridget Jones moment into this conversation. I mean, to, <laughs> I'm so confused. To, to be honest, I Bonnie, was... the only person who's seen Bridget Jones' diary, has no idea what's happening now. She's I like, know. there's nothing like that in there. She doesn't. I'm like, Were yeah, you... no, she like cries and eats a cheeseburger and everything's all right, right? <laughs> Were you guys like no, that Bridget Jones moment where like Bridget Jones is like, hey, do you feel lucky, punk? How many bullets do I have in this gun? <laughs> oh, man, my favorite was when Bridget Jones goes, do you realize that the odds of surviving an asteroid belt are 3,670 to 1? I liked when Bridget Jones was, was in the in the very tough meeting and she said, I'm going to make an offer they can't refuse. <laughs> 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 the best was when she pulled open the van door and says, what's it smell like, man? <laughs> the Bridget Jones opening Moroccan Street Fair. <laughs> oh, Sugar yeah, yeah. Dates. Sugar, <laughs> Sugar <laughs> dates. <laughs> Sugar <laughs> dates and pistachios. We completed the circle. <laughs> Remember when Bridget Jones comes out and says, okay, you cockroaches, I'm reloaded. <laughs> And then Bridget Jones was all like, I ain't got time to bleed, man. <laughs> then she defeated Ivan Drago. <laughs> and had a baby. And when uh, uh, Bridget Jones was, uh, was just like, hey, I'm fat and I'm British. We're not. Is that Hugh Grant? Why are you got to be body shaming the Brits? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I want to know what just happened here. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's kind of the syn a synopsis of Bridget Jones. Right, because the actress is not British, but she plays a British person? Yes. Now, are you just born British, or can you convert? <laughs> oh, can you identify as British? I mean, <sighs> I mean, well, I assume everyone who, I, who says, like, you know, I think Jaime identifies as an American. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. wait! Does he identify as like like? Or, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, like anybody who moves to the United States and wants to become a citizen. Immigrants are not allowed to identify as the country they move to, is what Brian is saying. That, no, no, I'm not. No, what? no. What I'm saying is, is at what point do they become an American or a British person or whatever? Sorry, this is a little bit. Uh, but probably oh, at the end. Of wait, the... No, Apex has this classic line from Bridget Jones' diary. <laughs> uh, Pussy, 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 we got white pussy, brown pussy, yellow pussy, black pussy. If you find pussy for cheaper, fuck, fuck it. it. <laughs> That's from Bridget Jones' diary. That is, this is a is famous quote. And check IMDb. IMDb, IMDb has that project. Check IMDb. Center. In fact, somebody find that. Just enter, uh, find that on IMDb. Make a screenshot uh, of that. Famous quotes from Bridget Jones' diary. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, uh, yeah. And then uh, so I put all my stuff in one of those U-Haul mini pods and um, drove down with my dad to, oh, to Austin. And, and so, what did you honestly think the odds were of like in your mind? You're spinning the roulette wheel of what fortune waits for me here. What What were the various outcomes you were predicting? Uh, I actually thought it was pretty good odds that. Uh, you and I would would be working together uh, mainly because at one point we had an email discussion of like, hey, we're looking for people. Yeah, uh, and it was it was uh, 
direct like email or something between right, us. Right, right. And, and 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 keep in mind, it was it was also like. Uh, and you were in the middle of shooting hacking the system probably yeah. when you wrote that. I moved to Austin like the day you moved back from, or you got back from hacking. The well, system. and and I had no oh my idea. God, that you'd really? Moved. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you know this. I was a little distracted a little during busy. those days. A little bit. You were stressed at that time. A little bit. Little Not bit. anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me. Uh, 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 we don't have to get get into 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 specifics, but your mood directly after hacking this after after surviving the hacking the system shoot, I think we could charitably describe as as suicidal. I'm black, y'all. I'm black, <laughs> y'all. I'm black and black, and I'm black, y'all. Yeah, like no. it was it was it was not good. Oh yeah, no, yeah. it was it was it was the darkest time since uh, since high school because that was also the time that that you know random founder of a tech podcast network decided to disabuse me of the notion that we were actually friends in a very public and embarrassing manner. Right. Oh my God. Yeah. We found out <laughs> as they were shooting the final episode of hacking the system, like the entire crew was like excited last day. Uh, uh, everybody was pumped and literally were sitting at a table at a, at a, <laughs> a horse racing facility. Oh, that's birthday. right. Uh, and we are informed that, like, you know, internally, we've been blacklisted from our former home wow. that we had thought we had left peacefully. And, and that set it, its own things into motion. But so so I, I know where Brian is. Bryce, at this point, you have no idea. Uh, you have no guarantees, at least, of, of what kind of work you're going to have right. in, in Austin. Uh, so I like I don't think if you realize this, you were this piercing light of sunshine into a absolute midnight black uh, uh, world for Brian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I knew, like, because early on when you shared as about as much as, as as you just did about how, like, your mood at the time. Oh, your, sure, your sure, yeah. At the time. Um, but I think it, it still, I, I still felt real good about it happening because it was clear that, Brant was not enough to get everything done. Uh, <laughs> You're like, good. He's insufficiently prepared for the fr flood of business coming. <laughs> then body goes sugar dates. Sugar, sugar dates. dates. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Brant is not enough, said Bryce as he hikes up his work belt and puts his wrench <laughs> over his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. Um, <clears throat> and and yeah, and so so. I was, I was, well, and, and I remember those early days too. Like I remember, um, uh, so I moved in September. I moved here on September 10th because I, I remember my dad flew home on September 11th. And I think you were, you were, you were uh, working what two months later, right? Uh, Is that all right? no, I think I was, a, it was official at the very start of January. Yeah, it was the beginning of the following well, th year. There was there was one thing that was interesting to me <laughs> that that I didn't realize meant so much to you, but but like uh, um, I didn't. Oh, you know, know, I was working on Night Attack before then. I was working on Night Attack. Oh, that's right, that's right. Then. We started off as like, uh, and we learned to do the live switching thing. But uh, specifically, there was one moment like I didn't know that. I just all I saw was your talent. And and uh, you would send me stuff and I would comment on it like, oh, whether this fits, you know, what we're trying to do with scam school or not, or here's why or try this or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but at some point there was a episode that I was reviewing. And for the first time, I, I had no idea whether it was you or Brant mm. that, that did it. And I could not tell. Like stylistically, they both matched the mm -hmm. form. They were super precise. They were they're, like – it was it was great, and then uh, and then I, I you know I was like, hey man, congratulations, you passed the Turing test, and then uh, <laughs> and then your reaction was one that quickly informed me, oh crap, he was worried about this for a long time. <laughs> this is a big moment. Yeah, I remember specifically uh, there was one there there was one night where it was a Wednesday night, and I had gotten scam school done a little early, so I was on Roberto's podcast, uh, my so-called Bit Life, and I was over at his apartment and. We were in the middle of sh of filming the or recording the episode when you called me to tell me. Uh, um, uh, this must have been a little later on, but it was like, uh, man, I didn't even know uh, that you put this episode up without showing me, and it's great. Uh, and this is also another turning point. Yeah, uh, I was like, oh, very cool. Uh, I'm also live on a podcast. Yeah. I also, to peace out, ass bleep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, dude. He said back, quoting his favorite movie, Bridget Jones, <laughs> it may in fact be a mod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got, we've got, uh, 
quotes. And... Oh, the quote, the quotes. <laughs> All right, pussy, pussy, From pussy. From dusk till dawn. <laughs> oh, my God, it even does. It says Brent, Bridget Jones on there. <laughs> Wow, look at that. I mean, that's a famous line from the film. From <laughs> and there it is on, I have, the on the easily Bridget adjustable Jones. IMDb <laughs> user run bait database, clearly showing the character actor Bridget Jones. <laughs> well, character, the character. <laughs> yeah, the no, the character that is acted or played, uh, whatever. You know, whatever. Whoever that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever her name is. Uh, uh, hey. I have I have this question to ask you though, Bryce. Okay. Mm. It can now be told. Obviously, you are you're well ingrained uh, uh, into the Brian Brushwood operation and you're you know a, a huge part of uh, what goes on there what was the worst case scenario before you like uh, started working for brian mm. like how much did you think the possibility was that brian might just be like yeah i mean uh, sure i told you that you know like there was work but turns out man i got a lot to do so <laughs> yeah. sorry you moved to austin <laughs> Uh, coming, coming up to the end of it, uh, it was almost feeling like 50, 50, um, until it like, I had to like continue pushing like, Hey, please say yes. Uh, but it was, it, by, by the, by December, uh, once night attack three was done and, and I, I was kind of sitting on my hands a little bit. Oh, that's uh, right. That was one of the tryout gigs was we we're like, just, just make the album happen. Right. Right. Because we're old in this scenario. <laughs> Unlike in real life when we're young and very tan and virile. <laughs> <laughs> and eating. Young and healthy. <laughs> uh, but but it was feeling it, it was getting pretty up there to the point where I was like, hey, there's a Whataburger down the street. Maybe I'll just go get an application in, in the meantime. Oh, Wait, yeah. damn. <laughs> Unfortunately, the application, he just writes, man, I can make songs for I you. Can I can make I can edit videos real good. I've never worked. If you want a live later. stream, I know how to do Have that. Have you ever considered <laughs> streaming? <laughs> Whataburger dot TV. <laughs> I went ahead and registered it. I'll give it to you for free. Come go. on. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Uh, dude, well, I mean, I'm so glad that it worked out the way it did. And mm. so even though right now the tables are turned and you're the one super stressed, how are you dealing with that stress now? Like, is it is it a – so here's something that I learned. Should we set up, like, how much should we set up of, like, what's actually – yeah, you guys are very casually mentioning something that you have not touched on at all for the audience. Well, uh, okay, well – we will d divulge that, but real okay. quick, side jag. Um, when I was a kid, I learned that there was two different types of stress. There's eustress and distress. Distress is when you are stressed out about bad things. Eustress is the stress that comes like right before graduation or before your big premiere or oh. whatever. That's um, like that's like like you porn. EU. <laughs> it's it's in the European Union. EU porn. <laughs> uh, well, no. then I'm I'm out. I'm I'm I'm, I'm stressed. It. <laughs> but I'm surprised yeah. that I've never heard that again. That seemed like a, a very good classification. And then I've never crossed it again. And you guys apparently have never heard of that. I, no, right? I hadn't. Yeah. No, no, no. All right. So you stress. EU. You stress. E there we go. Stress. Moderate, Moderate or normal psychological stress interpreted as being beneficial for the experiencer. Yeah. So like, so like, like right before the big game. Yeah. A little, little bit of you know, butterflies. Anxious, uh, yeah. yeah. And then distress. How, what would the definition of that be? Um, what you do to genes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Extreme if anxiety. You to look fashionable, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> extreme anxiety and sorrow or pain. Another word for distraint. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that was an interesting thing. But uh, going back, uh, yeah, we're we're. Um, I mean, I I I don't know what we're allowed to say outside of. Someone has asked us for a TV shaped product. Yeah, and uh, we are uh, making uh, two of them. There's there's some content that uh, exists that we've been asked to repurpose for a television pilot. And uh, uh, as you can imagine, that, even... that is not no normally. And 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 Brian has gone on vacations before. <laughs> hold on, hold oh on. wow! Just... Look at this. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> this is on IMDb again. This is straight from the web page. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna read Bridget Jones's line: Calrissian, take the princess and the Wookiee to my ship. You said they'd be left under the city under my supervision. 
I'm altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. I remember A when she said that. Bridget Jones line. <laughs> that that actually came from the last movie, Bridget Jones's Baby or something. That's yeah. like the more recent yeah. one. That's oh. She had a baby. One. Yeah. She finally she had did. it all. She, she, <laughs> she didn't know who came in her first though that made the baby. That was the thing. What? That was the big question in the movie. <laughs> well, because so she got in the van that the time. Come <laughs> is this? That's what the movie should have been called. That's the prequel. That's Who's actually come is this? That's actually what the movie's about. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God! Is it? <laughs> totally no, for real. Is. She's like, like, man, this come is just so mysterious. Like, we're gonna take an hour and a half to unravel. Who is it you? Is. Han shot first. <laughs> 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 Bridget Jones presents Mamma Mia 2, Who's Come Is This? <laughs> I feel it all in the back of my cervix. What is the cervix anyway? I'm going to download Hello, a lecture. I'm Richard Stack. <laughs> okay, so I haven't seen Bane Bus. Richard bus. Stack opens on a Moroccan <laughs> Sugar dates. Sugar dates. <laughs> you were saying? I said, okay, so I haven't seen Bang Bus, but I saw all the Bit Bridget Jones diary movies. <laughs> 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 They're all just on the same bed and breakfast fireplace mantle. It's just Bridget Jones 1, 2, and 3, and then an 18-part compilation of Bang, Bang Buzz Bus episodes <laughs> on VHS tapes. <laughs> um... Yeah, so so TV there's a TV thing happening, and some of my deadlines are coming up within the next and, week and or un so. Understand, even though like like uh, uh, about twenty twenty five percent will have to be new content. Uh, the rest is repackaged stuff that exists. But yeah. but man, the the uh, hey, don't know. Uh, stop me if you heard this. TV a little bit different from the internet. Different standards uh, on in terms of. Um, so it's something that I want to uh, uh, let everybody uh, understand about. Brian's gone on vacations before that totally separately, randomly wound up uh, uh, pilots happen right afterward, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Never before has Brian both been the star of the show, but also the production company for which he has to bring in his own shooters and editors to put everything together. Therefore, well, and, go, or go, well, go that ahead. Brown, go ahead. Uh, that, that, that Bryce is now not only just a guy involved with the talent, he is the shooter and editor to put everything together, which is a tremendous amount of responsibility. Yeah, it, I mean, it's especially tough because uh, 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 unrelatedly, when you're dealing with lots of old footage that other people have made, uh, finding it and putting it all together and and editing it and and trying to to see you know how to make stuff conform to different standards in terms of you know to safe areas and and brands we hey fuck brands, uh, fuck brands. <laughs> yeah no uh, uh, get ready for an awful lot of future content we shoot with very generic shirts and nary a brand in sights. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we oh <laughs> wait because so somebody is tediously etching out every goddamn beer can, every neon light, every reflection on a helmet that's on the side of the bar. Dude, this is gonna look like the Dre Day video. Brian might as well <laughs> just pull a lady's <laughs> top off while she's playing volleyball. <laughs> yeah, oh. and and like making making stuff like that look good, especially when we have one particular one where a very giant brand is on someone's shirt uh, and it's the middle of their chest and it's huge. Yay. Um, and so trying to figure out the best way to... <laughs> we, we actually ended up, uh, like, there's this kind of a... Uh, there was one that was complete footage. So in my mind, it's like, chip, chop, choop, and it's good. And I'm just like... And then Br Bryce is like, uh, yeah, I think we should reshoot this one. I'm like, why? I, d I did the thing and the thing worked and it didn't... It was like... We can't put, we can't just take stuff off of YouTube and cut it out like that. That's not good. It's, that's not, uh, it's like, it's not, 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 uh, it, and he knew where to hit me hardest. He said, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not a good look on you. 
<laughs> and I look, and sure enough, it was just this awkward, oh, too tight shirt, and I'm, mm. I'm in an off weird position, and my guts all yeah. double busting out, and all this right, stuff. Right. The next time, just look him dead in his eyes and say, "That's neither tan nor healthy, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> You're not so virulent in this one." Uh, we did have a fun little moment when we were shooting one of these most recent TV things of of Brian not wanting to put on some makeup. Uh, yeah, and having to remind him, hey. You're, you will be on TV looking sweaty. Yeah, you no, know, actually, the exact line was we like, <laughs> he was like, uh, he was like, hey, Brian, do you want, you want to touch up? And I'm like, oh, I, I think I'm good. He was like, you want to look sweaty on national television? Well, <laughs> 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 your, your whole thing was like, I don't want to go out no to the No wire hangers, Bridget <laughs> Jones. <laughs> And, and by the way, this is what makes Bryce wonderful is because I thought, like, I'm glad he cares enough to say that kind of hurtful thing to me. <laughs> you know? Well, like, it's like you've been – He's doing it because he loves me. <laughs> you know what's, what's really funny is in our in our room, you can tell, like, which side is my side and which side is Brian's side, and the maids keep, like, pushing they keep, they keep moving the, 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 the makeup from my side of the bathroom to Bonnie's side. And I was like, oh, the maids, am I right? <laughs> um, white people. Uh, so uh, when is the end of this? When is, when is your deadline where you can uh, uh, relieve some of this tension? So, like, <laughs> because the, I have a warehouse yeah, available. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, so one of the soft deadlines we were talking about is this coming Friday, um, we'll see how close that is because we still have some paperwork stuff we need to finish up and some little things to reshoot. Um, and then possibly we've, I, I've been hearing June-ish for people to be able to actually see stuff on June-esque, <laughs> which, which is really <laughs> weird because like uh, that's not normal how that's people a... speak about dates. Normally they give a specific date, but instead they're like, uh, have you heard of... Junesh. <laughs> it's a time of Amy year. Amy Adams stars in Junesh. <laughs> Once a year, the most precious time comes when the palm dates are on sale. Sugar dates, I mean. And... <laughs> And, uh, and and hot winter nights are no more. <laughs> Hanukkah? Some... Are you trying to get us to Hanukkah, Brian? Yeah, sorry. I have some... Hot winter nights? <laughs> what? I have some martinis to make this work. <laughs> <laughs> You've got what we need, boys. <laughs> you got what we need. Yeah, but will it work? <laughs> uh, hey, man. Uh, you, wanna, you, you guys want to? Hey, man. Got a little crystal here. You want to do some diamond time? Ladies and gentlemen, call. diamond time is where you can shout out your project right here on the show. Just go ahead on over to reddit.com slash r slash diamond club or diamond club dot reddit dot com. And that's where uh, you can uh, find the sticky post right there at the top where we read the top three beginning with uh, Octona Princeps. Who writes, I'm writing this on behalf of a Diamond Club family who needs your help. Blue Front and The Leanna are regulars on Mike TV stream, and they are good people, and they're boys. Olin and Gareth are amazing little guys. Both boys are also on the autism spectrum, and supporting them is an extra challenge. Olin has needed some extra help recently, and this has led to some extra costs that the family just can't cover. We're in Mike TV stream convinced. Uh, to start them a GoFundMe instead of suffering under the burden, and it would fill me with joy to see them get a hand up by the community. Just head on over to YOLO420.com slash awesome kids swag. That again is YOLO420.com slash awesome kid swag. Anything mm. that Diamond Club can do is greatly appreciated. As mentioned in the GoFundMe, Olin is also going to give back to the community by picking up trash around the neighborhood and local parks for each donation. Please help a wonderful family and help Olin keep Texas clean. Bro, oh, that's nice. Uh, hey, I had a random sidejack thought. What about the emotes? What if there's one that was the picture of a goat and then the other that was a clock? So that at the beginning of ours and every other podcast, when it's goat it's time, goat time, goat time. Boom, okay. boom. That's, then that can become good. because like that whole picnic meme that started with us shouting picnic. That was that was ours. Patrick mm. Delahanty was the first. Mm. 
Uh, look at the monkeys, writes us, with a link that's unpronounceable. But you can go to it at yolo420.com slash woodswag. Um, I just finished my latest home improvement project and posted it to my YouTube channel. I started woodworking as a hobby six years ago when we wanted quality furniture, but as cheap as a cheap bastard, I refused to pay thousands of dollars on stuff I figured I could make myself. Now it's grown into a passion of mine, and I've built most of the furniture myself. While this is kind of a shameless self-promotion for my YouTube channel, I also want to let people know that woodworking is a great thing to get into, and you actually don't need that many tools to get started. Right on, man. Hell yeah. And of course, Cattle Humper brings us on home. Greetings, Diamond Club family. My girlfriend and I are pleased to announce the launch of our new business, a subscription box unlike other offerings out there. Yes, we're offering a subscription box, box focused on your pleasure and that of your partner. Pleasure Case is dedicated to sending you a monthly box full of goodies chosen to excite and arouse Go to PleasureCase.com to sign up for our monthly subscription service. Each box will have a minimum retail value of 60 bucks, and each month will follow a central theme. Upcoming themes include discreet travel, bondage, holiday themes, and more. Join today and receive our inaugural shipment in July. We hope you enjoy the Pleasure Case. Hot damn. Do. Uh, Diamond Club can use the code DC20. To save 20% off your first month, if you are among the first 100 Diamond Club subscribers, just go to PleasureCase.com, Twitter, PleasureCase, uh, hashtag your case or mine. Wow. Sean, Sean in the chat, uh, I think he mistyped this, but I think it's shockingly accurate when he says, this is a really goo idea, honestly. <laughs> I mean. No, no. No, I mean, like, Who's that's... come is this? <laughs> uh, Bridget Jones' diary, right there. <laughs> God damn. God damn. Uh, I'll, I just look like some, both of us, like, Brian looks, uh, he actually, in this uh, uh, photo, has Hugh Grant's hairline, which is weird. <laughs> uh, which is shockingly close to my own. It, it's He's got a five head as well. Uh, uh, and, and I just look psychotic. Just look like an absolute you definitely look like you're about to grow seven more mouths and eat her. <laughs> I know. There's like some bizarre heavy metal version of, of, a uh, of specter of death. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, got to tease the thing. Um, talk to a guy, talk to a guy. There's an event in Vegas. They want us to participate. They want us to be in the event. Um, I mean, just saying, just saying nothing's announced, but. Let me tell you how great it would be for us to be in Vegas in mid-September doing a thing for all the Diamond Club members to wear all their bling. And then they'd show off their bling to people, and then they'd feel ashamed for their ostentious... Uh, never mind. I was going to go on a poverty shaming thing. Never mind. Poor people suck. Poor people <laughs> suck. You suck. You're poor. <laughs> then I... Is that an alley oop? I'm, I'm really sad you did that because now it's gonna be a song. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Uh, hashtag PPS. I, I don't know. Is that gonna is that gonna start? Is that gonna be a thing? Hashtag PPS. God damn it! Make that an emote. This did not go according to plan at all. <laughs> For the emotes, though, like we could have hashtag PPS. Um. Hey. Uh. So. Oh, there was a question I had about. Uh, are you? Uh, 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 from what you were saying, we've never done a show in Vegas. I know. Ever. Would you guys like to come uh, out for a this Vegas? This would be the first time that we would be uh, uh, in Vegas. So uh, if you are in the Sin City or in Nevada or in L.A., this is going to be a great time to see us. Yeah. Uh, and it's actually, from everything I've heard, it's just going to be a great time, period, full stop. I think it, it'll be pretty great. Oh, dude. I mean, like, does Mitsula even know about this? Like, Mitsula is going to. Mi Mi Mitsula, if anyone would know, it would be Mitsula. I think he was there when I when I made promises that it. Took this is weeks yeah. This to... is going to be uh, 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 the the best the best time ever. Yeah. So keep uh, mid September open on your calendar. Mid to latest September. Would this be like a solo thing, or should people be <clears throat> expecting this attached to another program? Um, you know what? Actually, that's a good point. Um, 
it it uh, 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 hey, weren't we great at Dragon Con? Weren't we great at Nerdtacular? Mm -hmm. sure. Weren't we great yeah. when we showed up at other people's things? Famously, we we kill it, Bry. We kill it at CreateCon. We kill it at Dragon Con. We kill it at Nerdtacular. People bring us in for these cons, and and we say no, no, no. Now they're pros. Yeah, yeah. and they're like, no, these are poems. And it's like, no, it's pros. <laughs> no, okay, never mind. All right, pros uh, versus Joe's. Oh, hey, uh, I I got an email during the show. Uh, Liz wrote in, and and uh, I know I know we're beating a dead horse here, but uh, Liz actually conven randomly said nice things about last week's episode, and then and asked us out of the blue, uh, hey, uh, uh, I do Patreon, but I want to give like a one-time contribution. Is there any way to do that? And we've never had that, but we have that now with the Twitch thing. Yeah, uh, so on Twitch, you, you can uh, buy bits, and uh, I think it's called cheering, but uh, a bit is like a dollar and, or I'm sorry, one bit is like one point, one point uh, some cents. Uh, and so you you give us okay, but how many people do I need in my downstream to get ten percent of the upstream to get me to uh, financial independence? Yeah, the the woodchuck, the woodchuck knows. The woodchuck, <laughs> the woodchuck knows. Uh, but okay. yeah, you can do it with through bits. through bits. It's through possible bits, through, through bits, bits. All things are so, possible. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll probably also do donations. I mean, we've never really done it, and that's more of a that's more of a, a Twitch thing. But right, yeah, we we just don't have any other sort of PayPal or anything set up yet for. For that. Yeah. 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 But you never know. Oh, and bits what? bits are one to one to us. You pay a little extra when you buy them, but we get one cent per bit. We get it. So it. Oh, we get it. We get it. Get oh look, Babcat. Babcat dropping in bits. Yeah. Uh, uh all right. I'll tell you what, how about we go ahead and take a look at the movie draft minute? The movie draft minute presented by Cosmic Radio.tv for the week of May 15th, 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. I'm getting too old for this shit. Let's go check the scoreboard. Team Core Girls is in sixth place with $49 million. Team Scotch Bros is in fifth place with $58.9 million. Jeez, Team Frog man. Pants is in fourth place. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, bringing $15.3 million a week. And Snatched, bringing in $19.5 million, bringing their total to $119.7 million. Team Big and Tall is in third place with $162.2 million. Team Nitec is in second place with $248.4 million. And in first place, a whopping $257.2 million. It's Team DTNS. And that is your movie minute for the week of May 15th, 2017. Man. So I believe as of now, we're in first place. Uh, no. Uh, if as you, of if now, you, if you factor are, in Mondays. We, uh, oh, uh, no, I'm looking at it and, and we're only at 253 with Mondays. Because we, uh, okay. we made well, 5 million after yesterday. It, it, the, the next two days, we sure. will be. In, in first place before before next Friday we'll be in first place. So how much do you think? Uh, okay, so at this point, I mean, it's really it's just us and DTNS. He has spent Smurfs and Fate of the Furious. How much did he spend on Smurfs? Uh, Seven dollars. So forty five dollars he spent. We've spent fifty eight dollars, um, and it looks like we're gonna blow past him. I th I think we're gonna hit maybe maybe three forty for Guardians. What do you think? Does that sound right? Oh, I mean, that would be an, an underperformance based on its trajectory. Remember, the first one did 330, and this one's like looking like it'll do probably 50 or 60 more than the first one. Well, that's huge then, because then that means uh, as long as Pirates of the Caribbean does okay, you know, in, in the same – we might not be out of this – all together. Well, I mean, the big the big thing that we're looking at now is that uh, uh, apparently everything is under tracking, which is which is why the Just idea slower, of us paying a... uh, for Guardians seems like a better idea because there it doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of just surprise two hundred million dollar movies out there that that this is the year where people are just sick of everything being a remake and a sequel. And they're like, fuck it, I'll just watch Master and Nun with no pants on. Yeah. Uh, instead of going to the movies. Now, that still means that we need pirates to do well. Yeah. What did, what did, uh, wow, look at that, man. Uh, 37 on an opening Friday versus 56 for Guardians 2. 30 on Saturday versus 51 for Guardians 2. 25 on Sunday versus 39 for Guardians 2. 
That's crazy. So the first week, Guardians <laughs> 2 overperformed on Guardians 1. Second week, Guardians 1 did better. And then the third week, it looks like Guardians 2 did better. Yeah, man, that's tremendous. That I, I, I got to tell you, I thought we were out of this thing, but, but it looks like we got a chance at it. No, we do. I mean, we just need everything to blow. Right. Right. Like, we need, for sure, anything that DTNS owns to just be total garbage. And that begins with Wonder Woman. Can I, get, can I talk about Wonder Woman for, like, two seconds? Yeah. You know, it, so here's the weird part. Like, I actually, you know, I watched Guardians of the Galaxy twice this week with my daughter. So I saw that trailer twice with daughters each time. And, uh, God, the trailer is good enough that, I like, all I can think of, I'm like, Fuck, fuck, please be good. Please be good because I love what they're trying to say. And, like, I love a mirror, you know, mocking, you know, uh, stereotypical men's misogyny of, of those early days. And it would be really great to see a well-handled Joss Whedon-style script on all that. But I strongly suspect that's not what's coming. I was watching a TV commercial for it. And in the first frame, it says, Metropolis has Superman. Gotham has Batman. And now we have Wonder Woman. We, Which is weird to me. We, 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 for she, two reasons. Number one, why do you have to explain Wonder Woman? Why are you making a Wonder Woman movie where you have to explain that she's also a superhero? Maybe you could have explained that when she was in a movie with those two other characters that you were explaining her in context for. Like, why on earth are you are you setting up to random people, hey, Wonder Woman's a superhero. She's just like Batman, and she's just like Superman. Of course she is. That's why you're making a movie about a established property that's been around in popular culture for 50 fucking years. Yeah, I've not seen this ad, but it does sound like they're mansplaining Wonder Woman. <laughs> like... <laughs> Which is like, I mean, like, like you do that for Guardians, right? To be like, Tony Stark's a wisecracking inventor. <laughs> Peter Quill's also a wisecracking space person. Like, do you do that for people that nobody gives a fuck about or has ever known before in a previous incarnation? Everybody knows Wonder Woman. Yeah. Like, it's the reason why you're making the fucking movie. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, oh, we just lost Patreon dollars from uh, DC Fan 9000. Oh, what a bummer. <laughs> I guess the DC wasn't for Diamond Club. Wait, what uh, happened? No, that's a joke. I'm acting like like the company DC the was watching, sure. and then you were oh, shitting DC. on their marketing. <laughs> okay, and, sorry. Yeah, no. That's... Yeah, it was, it was It went over moment, great, so. man. Uh, in an we're all laughing reality, over here. Yeah, okay. Over in this corner yeah. of the room, we're just cracking <laughs> the fuck we, up. We. <laughs> we. Uh, <laughs> Hey, man, uh, the reviews on that new Alien movie, pretty good. Do you believe the hype? Are they good? I heard it was like like uh, doubling down on Prometheus's meandering. Uh, here's what I uh, – Alien Covenant, 76% certified fresh. Dude, I'm down with it. Same like, classification I, 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 as Guardians I'm, I'm always, of the Galaxy I'm always too. down for some alien violence. Like, that's, that's great. In mm -hmm. fact, that was my problem with Prometheus was it didn't give me enough of it. Man. Can I tell you some true facts? Give me it. I might be off. I, 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 I'm going to see it through. I'm going to see it through. But uh, America Gods is very plodding and tedious. And this is coming from somebody who finished and loved the book. <sighs> see, I haven't even started watching it. And it's because of you. I'm going to blame you. I'm blaming you personally. I... I bought stars while I was talking to Scott Johnson. And I'm like, I'm going to watch it. And you and Bryce... Bryce, I, all right, it, it's, we're, we're done with Bryce Appreciation Day. Now, yeah, it's, now it's Bryce, back to Bryce's punching Twitter bag hour. Bring it on, bring Bryce it on. punching bag corner hour. hour. It's an hour, hour of it. <laughs> Bryce is just like, you are just right up American Gods' ass. Like, you're just randomly, like, like quote tweeting people who are talking about it, just being like, really? Fuck this show. <laughs> <No>. Bryce, I <laughs> what I did was the AV Club had a tweet about American Gods getting renewed very early, and I quote tweeted it saying, why? Uh, I, I just I watched the first episode and was blown away by how uninteresting 
uninterested I was in in <laughs> oh my, my god guys I I, pay, I picture he gathers everyone in the room all the suits they're really excited <laughs> and Bryce takes off his sunglasses revealing another pair of sunglasses <laughs> sure. and says let me tell you guys when I watched this I was blown away I had never felt anything like and then their excited gazes go left to right he was like the disappointment I felt when I saw how boring it was well it would be cool if like the main character seemed like he had a pulse or if uh, he acted responded to anything i don't know i might try a second the second episode but i'm i there's so many other shows that are on right now also so. yeah there's a lot of shows show including yeah. one from us i mean it's got a great cast though American Gods. You're saying the cast can't carry it? Oh, no, no, no. They're great. Every actor is great. Every character is performed with expert precision. Um, I also didn't read the books, by the well, way. Well, so here's the thing. Which makes – so I feel completely lost the because books, I don't have any contact. So, so here's the – problem. and I was thinking about this. Uh, the book works because when you read the book, you never talk to someone mid-book about what's going on. Uh, and as a result, you can shape things. You can lay things in front of people that in a delightful moment later will suddenly seem obvious. When you look back, you're like, of course, I should have known it was there the whole time. Mm. You can't do that with the television show because first episode comes out, out into the ecosystem. People say, I think that's the thing that gets used to do the bleep blop at the Jeep drop moment. Yeah. And then uh, Which and I then actually sure disliked about. Um, Westworld. Uh, no, Legion. Oh, really? I had a moment in Legion where I went on the ride and I was like, oh, God damn it. I don't want to know that this person is a person. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly, right? So, so uh, 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 in, in this – when a book does it very well, it can sweep you into this kind of dreamlike narrative where stuff happens because now it's time for it to happen. And a character can be so emotionally dead inside that you watch him do it. It's not carrying to the television show. Mm. Like I am not buying that Shadow just randomly bets his life on a checkers game – because uh, Spoiler alert. For, for for what appears to be a minor trophy to a guy he met on a flight once. Like I'm just it's it's not reading. Uh God but, damn, watching this right now is in his Venice Beach home, Ian McShane just slams his laptop <laughs> closed. And just well, like, and by the way, honey, I'm going down to the dispensary. <laughs> and then I'm going to pick up a couple pitas full of shawarma. And I'll be right back after I tip $5 to a college dropout playing No Woman, No Cry. <laughs> It's actually dead on. That's pretty great. Uh, also, all of the actors are absolutely amazing. All yeah. of them are fantastic. Not a bad performance anywhere to be seen. Also, uh, the first episode has a very weird grasp on some of the computer graphics. Uh, there's there's um, uh, a, a, woman, a moment where someone is getting shot a bunch of times, and there's a bunch of blood everywhere. Oh. And it looks very weirdly composited. Yeah. Well, there, I, there are I a had couple that, of very that, wonky moments. That was a big turnoff for me on The Walking Dead. Like... Uh, I understood the gratuity oh, the, of the, the, the like digital, digital squib. Oh, jeez, yeah. it's so awful. It, it looks no react. The, the person wasn't reacting to the yeah. mo movement of it, and like you can do it. Good, it, it looked but that one super cartoony, right? right? Yeah. Which is something which, like, if you're going for visceral, you know, shock, last thing you want to do is like, you know, play the Benny Hill theme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can somebody well, please it. edit digital squibs <laughs> into Benny Hill? <laughs> Just like chasing some jiggly fucking British ass, like it's just pop, 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 digital squibs in people's eyes and shit for no reason. Uh, uh, uh so so should I start watching it or not, man? I bought this goddamn stars thing. What am I gonna watch? Yeah, Black no, sales. Uh, uh, here's I I suspect <clears throat> number one, you should watch Ash versus Evil Dead. You will get more happier, better blood squibs than you ever yeah. believed possible. Uh, but the, uh, but yeah, uh, definitely. Honey, watch I'm it. gonna sit here and get baked. And watch Ash versus the Evil Dead. Better than my fucking show, you <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> this is astonishingly good, man. Uh, <laughs> I've been working on Ian McShane. I live in Venice Beach and I get high and make uh, snow angels in the sand, you <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> I'm starting to break down the key components of the impression. <laughs> uh, the, 
<laughs> uh, anyway, yes, you should definitely watch it because there are certain shows that I think definitely benefit from the binge factor. Uh, you know, Westworld, I have not met a single person who binged Westworld who didn't think it was great. I've met everyone who watched it week to week who thought it was garbage. And, uh, yeah. and so I think American Gods might be that same way, that week to week it's just not enough. It's too agonizing and drawn out for no apparently good reason. Whereas if you just watched it, boom, 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 I think you could get into that dreamlike state that, that well, really is, defines it. Is it really well shot? Because that's, that's a oh, lot of Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Right? Yeah. Like, because like you watch Westworld one after another and you're like, oh my God, like I literally just saw a gorgeous vista and now I'm seeing yet another gorgeous vista. And it doesn't matter that none of the characters have changed at all in seven episodes. Like, they look so good while they're fucking and getting shot in the eye. You cocksucker. I was watching <laughs> on my iPad mini outside of the dispensary. <laughs> And next thing you know, some cocksucker comes up to me and says, do you want to donate to Greenpeace? <laughs> what? So, so did I'm you? Ian McShane. I live in oh. Venice Beach. <laughs> Those are key components to the parody. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, yes, you definitely have oh, to yeah, watch Oh, yeah, R.I.P. Powers Booth. Now he's not going to be in the fucking Deadwood revival. Fuck you, Death. Yeah. yeah. Wait, way, to go, way to go, jerk. Need shit, Death. Uh, I am pool boy says, is there nudity in West Westworld? Because that wins in my book. Then it, it will make you dislike nudity. It's very like, sterile. Yeah. It's very medical. It's, well, it's, it's very boner killing. If you love boner killing dead eyed, uh, we've all been there. You turn on your HBO <laughs> prestige drama with a full erection in hand, ready to bust a nut. And next thing you know, here's some sterile ass titties. I'm sorry. Two thumbs way down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh man, I think uh I think we done did it. I think we did another for the for the books. I think we learned that Bri Bryce is a hell of a guy. <laughs> but I can't get my name said right. <laughs> Just lucky it's not uh, Rice. We learned that uh, uh we open on a Morocco market. <laughs> Sugar. I've got what you need, boys. <laughs> I think we've learned that Brian is both tan, virile, and healthy. <laughs> I think we learned that, uh, man, we couldn't be thankful enough to everybody who's going to subscribe and giving us Jeff Bezos' money. You're just stealing that $5 right out of his pockets. Wait a minute, I think there were some five dollars here that are in here now. No, there never was, and it won't go to your rockets anymore. <laughs> the night attack boys have it. Uh, and I think we've learned that uh, uh, Bonnie has uh, a really amazing imagination for the bag boss. <laughs> She's very generous. Uh, love you guys, man. See you next Tuesday. But will it work? Die in a fire. Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>